I'm driving. I'm on my way to Orchard Nutrition. Um, I have to get a higher dose of methylfolate, as directed by my psychiatrist, um, to help in the being able to process my medications and for them to actually get to my brain. She said the words building blocks, um, how not having enough methylfolate, I guess, makes it more difficult for you to be able to feel the actual benefits of the medications. Um, I guess they're not like able to reach my brain. I could be uh, relaying all this information incorrectly too, so that's a possibility. But the lady says to get methylfolate. I'm going to go get some methylfolate. I mean, what else do I have to lose at this point? I got nothing else except time. I don't know. I think maybe I'm starting to change my... Um, I can feel it a little bit in my body. Like, I, I can feel that maybe I'm starting to learn how to sit in some of this uh, depression and then kind of pull myself out of it by keeping busy, by doing things. I know this is like basic, so basic to some people when they're listening to me talk about this. Like, yeah, you're, you're not doing things you're supposed to be doing. You're like, you're flailing. I get it. I'm trying not to be. And... Uh, it's been easier to kind of pull myself out of some of these things. So I gotta take victories where they come. And today I'm just trying to keep myself busy. And clean my house. Um, yeah, like do a few things that I don't have to get done that I have been putting off. Sorry, somebody just honked. It wasn't me. Or I wasn't on my honk that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel okay today. And that's a good thing. I think it's, a, it's good to also report the days where things are seemingly okay. And I'm seemingly on a good headspace today. And yeah. I'm gonna get some fucking methyl foley. Anyways, um, I think that's good. I don't wanna listen to music now, so.
Hi guys. Um, so I really wanted to do a video, um, I guess this week just of my table. And it might not seem that exciting to some people or it might not be, I don't know, that cool to other people, but this table is really important to me and it's, it's taken me years to complete. Um, I guess I'll just talk to you guys about why I started doing it and how it became bleh, the project that it became. So, so um, this table, the black table itself, I bought, well I didn't actually buy it. Um, this was from my old roommate that I used to live with in Daly City. Shout out to Haley Rott, one of my greatest friends. Love you. And she left it. It was just one of those like $10 Ikea tables. So I want to say $10 or $12. Um, so you can buy those at Ikea. And it was just sitting there. Kind of just had it in the garage, I think, for a long time. It was just kind of like a random table. And I started getting GQ subscriptions and Vogue subscriptions um, just because I like physically seeing things. Um, and I love using them for like mood boards and collages and stuff like that. And I decided why not use all of those magazines that I get and that I love and why not use them to create something for my house that I wanted. Uh, so I decided to start this project on this table. So I started and I would just get my magazines in the mail and then I would go through and I would see certain things that I liked on the pages, whether that was like a beauty product, a shirt, um, something, the way something was styled, an animal, um, fruits. I would just see certain things and then I would rip the page out and then I would cut them. Then I started to accumulate all of the little cuttings, like of the actual things I wanted to use. And that in itself is a huge responsibility because it takes a long time to cut, it takes a long time to cut right, and it takes a long time to kind of pick out where you want to put things. So <clears throat> it started off, I just started with the surface and I just started slowly adding to it. And then I ended up, yeah, just going and going and I would see it in the corner just collecting dust after a while and I decided okay I'm going to start working on the legs so I started to do the legs and then I started to save all of my cigarette boxes from my American Spirits and I decided I can use that I can use the boxes to do something with them since you know I have so many of them so that was when I decided that I was going to try to do something with the boxes, which is what I did here. And you know, I'm not really sure if I loved it, but I do love the table. And like, I think it's cool and I think it's a conversation piece. And I'm proud of it. And I know it's not like, like I said, it's not like, a piece of art that belongs at Basel or whatever but it's still a pretty cool piece and I'm excited to have it in my house somewhere and for people to see all of the little pictures and there's even some surprise pictures in there of like me with the dogs or so I have some like hidden nest eggs inside but I'm really proud of it and I'm excited that I'm finally finished with it and this week there wasn't a lot going on in my life so um, there's not going to be too much content. I really wanted to focus on getting this done and I thought it would be kind of fun just to show you guys that it's cool to kind of have side projects and it's even more fulfilling and cool when you finish them because I always have so many things in flux so many things half finished so to finally have something done feels really good and 
who knows, maybe you guys will come over here if you know me, and you'll get to see it in person and tell me what you think about it. But I'm pretty stoked about it. I like it. What do you guys think? I would love to hear opinions. But it's a nice little size, too. inspires you guys to start some of your own little projects. I probably have so many other projects I should be working on, but this week it feels really good that I finished this one. And I'll say it again, I'll say it a million times, there's nothing like finishing a project and liking the results that you come up with because you did all of it on your own. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week, and hopefully next week I'll be back with some more fun stuff, and I hope you guys are still enjoying watching and listening, because I'm just getting started, I feel like. So thank you guys, and I'll be back next week with more.